they have to have something to fill it up. Oh, he's sad. Yeah, what do you... What's up? Before diving into our reaction to Stranger's Love, check out the description for a two-month free trial to Skillshare. You might be wondering what Skillshare is, and it, basically it's a platform that I've personally been spending a lot of time on lately. <laughs> Learning to garden. Learning to write. Learning piano. <laughs> and brushing up on my music theory knowledge. Skillshare is an online learning platform with structured video lessons on thousands of topics. And an annual subscription to Skillshare is less than $10 a month, which is a pretty darn good deal. The first 1,000 of our viewers to click on the link in the description below will get a two month free trial to Skillshare Premium. Join me with expanding our skill sets with Skillshare so that we can have the mastery of a new skill by the end of 2020. Now let's move on to the reaction video. <laughs> Are we good to just still Christmas it up? Is this for Patreon? This is not Christmas and this this whole recording session today is for YouTube. Okay, so should Wait, we- what? Do you want to on try Christmas? It? Yeah, if you want. I'll just throw a scarf on. <laughs> I look like a hobbit. So now you're reacting to an SM Station season two song called Strangers Love, which is sung by the Barbarettes, who are a female trio, and the male solo artist Jung Jin Young. The lyrics express the pain of a breakup and how people become strangers when a relationship ends. The song is composed by Jessica Summons and Charlie Tenku. Relatable stuff. Oh, ooh, I just saw. Um, I saw. Ooh. Three, two, one. Is this Skyfall? Uh, no, ooh, nice Dorian. I like having the piano do all of the strong beats and then have the singer do all the off beats in kind of a hemiola feel. This one has like a really interesting voice. Like, I like the color change. It feels like the color changed to like one shade darker. Like you're in Home Depot looking at the paint sum samples, you know? Oh, that was cool. That was cool. <laughs> There's like no space between the words. Hey, belt. I love that. You're jumping in on it. Woo! Oh, those are some nice hot. harmonies. <laughs> the, the harmonies are very, the barbarous are really killing it. Lots of interesting rhythm games with the melody. Yeah, lots of um, misplaced, like same melody, but placed in different beats. Oh, the guy sings. I love that reverb, like, that echo effect. They have to have something to fill it up. Oh, he's sad. Yeah, what do you... There's like a almost like a French horn type sound in the back, like a little like a brass swelling, but it's very faint. Bokeh, artificial bokeh. Really nice harmonies throughout the whole thing. Wait, what? The harmonies are really good. Ah. The strings sort of taken over the horns roll in the background they have the rhythmic piano and then the floating something up top still out in the chords. Oh. We haven't had that before, like them humming harmony. It's a nice contrast. And it's beautiful. I feel like these red lips symbolize something. Like the rose is red, his lips are red. Like this is like one of those songs that you like breathe with though. Like yeah. you like notice that you're like breathing a little bit faster or slower than you were before because you have to match it up. Do you hear the brass in the background? We just added that in. I don't know if you know, we don't have any like percussion in this whole thing, so they're driving the rhythm. And they're so together. 
I don't really even mind the fake breasts. It's like quiet enough that it just kind of adds the, the oomph it needs to be super dramatic. Oh, I like that like little rolled chord. Interesting. I love how like the piano, there's such minimal instrumentation. This was really all about the voices. Like the piano was just there to support and the voices were like, woo! That's like my favorite singing probably of like anything we've seen recently. Powerful and it doesn't seem strainy, right? Yeah, it seems so healthy and good sounding, but also like so blended. I don't know. It seemed like it was written for them. The Barbarettes being sort of barbershop mm -hmm. aesthetic. I think having a song that highlights their vocal range and their ability to strike really tight harmonies, I think was really smart. Allowing that to kind of shine and um, taking the accompaniment back, scaling it back so that you really can just experience like the voice and they're very expressive when they sing. There's a lot of intensity to what they're um, putting forth in their vocals. So I think it's really cool to just hear them do their thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah, the song, the instrumentals do a really good job of featuring the vocals and showing off like how incredible their voices are. And the, the collaboration worked really well, I think. Like all their voices mixed and blended super nicely. Um, it was really well done. And it, even like, though it was simple, it was solid and powerful. It was nice how they, they bring some solid affirmation into the chorus. So yeah, you have these verses where, I think it's, yeah, it starts with a syncopation on the end of one. It's regular eighth notes in a, um, is it, is it two four? Yeah, it's like a two four four four. It's two, probably four, 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 four. yeah, maybe more of four four. Okay, well you have an even number uh, time signature, and then you're putting in groups of three within these even numbered meters, and having this unstable meter. I wouldn't say unstable, more just an unstable melody or verse and then all of a sudden you land on the chorus and you have this solid landing on the downbeats it really creates that effect of comfort and also the wash of sound that su uh, supplements that too really creates the effect i think the beginning of this of the song captivated me because the da 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 it felt like there was a lot of motion and i'm like okay where is this going to go but as the song went on I actually didn't think it gelled together very well and um, one of the things that I thought was interesting was that I think this song sounds like a Lana Del Rey type of song because the melody is very similar to something that she would write. And maybe it's because I've, the moment I heard it, I had that notion. Mm. But the way the Barbarettes sort of belt out these melodies in like a almost like a diva-esque, like a really passionate fashion. Mm -hmm. I didn't think the music really supported that. I thought the music was a little too laid back mm -hmm. to support their really passionate building. There wasn't enough there to, to mm -hmm. sustain it. And the reason I li like Lana Del Rey is because she's kind of just singing softly. Like, But here, they're really trying to bring a different type of vibe to a similar type of mood. And I mm -hmm. don't think it worked very well mm -hmm. together. But I think melodically there are interesting things going on and harmonically and instrumentally there are a lot of interesting things going on but maybe just not for me well if you listen to the piano line where it's just they're just getting heavier and heavier there's a limit to how much a piano can really play mm -hmm. and that's that's where you start adding in more instruments like when they had that i think i think it was horn or some type of brass if you had more of that to 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 support from the bottom with these like really beautiful I guess, vocal lines, it would make more sense. Because if you have like just really passionate and just a piano that's just not making up for this overly passionate line, it just becomes very awkward. I can appreciate the simplicity, but if it if the song doesn't really go anywhere, mm. it sort of just like feels flat to me. Like in the beginning, like I like I, I did enjoy their voices, especially that woman's voice who was on the top. When they were singing, dee, 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 dee. her voice almost had like a rock sound to it, which is really interesting, especially for this like ballad type song. I thought it was a really interesting like sound, but I just thought the song could have gone more places. Wow, that's really very pretty. interesting. Interesting cinematography with like this 
stark contrast between black and red. Also, what the Barbarettes were wearing. One of them had, like, the really sparkly gold dress on. I definitely got that, like, separation vibe mm -hmm. from the music. What do you think? I thought it was it was really pretty. And it was, uh, like, they didn't do anything more than they really needed to. Because they just had the piano and the vocals the entire time. Yeah. And they added a whole bunch of reverb. It felt very alone because of that. Because they don't have all those Beautiful. other instruments that are, like, oh, helping them out. It's just... <sighs> Accurately represents because I've always listened to this and like it's it's like the most simple harmonic. Yeah, but something mm -hmm. is so incredibly moving about it. It felt incredibly alone. Wow, that was nice. I like their singing a lot, Barbara. It's like it was. They're so strong. It was almost more structured than I feel like a lot of the songs we listened. Like it very much like was like. Verse, kind verse, of chorus, verse, yeah, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus. I, yeah. I'm like verse refrain. Verse I know. Refrain. I didn't. It didn't feel but, long for me. That ended. That started yeah. and ended within like one like meditation session honestly it was the singing was so good and i think without the percussion help you helps you focus better on the vocal line i'm just i'm just making spe speculating yeah. here like the why i was so like, drawn in yeah the stuff that they added into like as it went on like the bottom that got added on and the, as the foundation with the strings just kind of holding the chords and the brass supporting that and like, to really give it more of a full sound mm -hmm. it was Dude, I was like, just like breathing like the whole time. Like, I, th I think, nice. yeah, your, your yeah. idea of moving with the breath with that is really fitting for this piece. Especially how they just, hey, they subtly drive you forward into the next phrase by layering on another yeah. another singer uh, and then do it using some triplet motifs to, to sneak into the next chorus. It's really This is good. one of those songs that I worry about listening on the bus with my earbuds in because I can't tell how loud I'm being and I'm just like sitting on the bus going... <laughs> 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 the people in front of me think I'm crazy and I'm like, no, I just, I gotta breathe. <laughs> Welcome to Christmas. It's snowing in Rochester and Starbucks has their peppermint mocha frap frappe. out. Peppermint mocha yeah, frap yeah. and their, I just had a caramel brulee latte. So, it's Christmas. justified.